Hello, uh, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you about the cultural dialectics presented by Space and Known Places in Bosom Melody's film. My presentation is divided into four main sections, historical background and director introduction, related to theory and archaeology's known places, analyze the film, I the other, and conclusion. Um, as you know all, the recent migration from Africa, South America, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe to Southern Italy is unprecedented in intensity and the size. The migration has continued in the last 20 years, but has been bred by ambiguous and inappropriate immigration laws. Desperate migrants, migrants sought to land on the Italian coast for a safe future, but they were considered to be a sign of threatening infiltration because Italy is adjacent to Africa. The refugee problem is not only a matter of population and ideology, but also a matter of liminality. The proximity of the southern European coast to the territories of North Africa makes the material an interesting cross space and inevitably leads to fluid and continuous evolution. Mosem Maliki, born in Tunisia, has been actively working as a renowned migrant writer to this day since he first moved to Italy in 1989. The reason migrant writer Luke, what writer's work could establish its position in the Italian literary world was that his work contained both personal experience and the life of migrant community, and thus created their own space in recognition of personal yet collective ambivalence. This space is the same context as the third space by Humi Baba. Here, as an outsider who forms multiculturalism, Melody makes the people look at others with the concept of others, not from the gaze of rejection, and expresses the trans discourse that traverses the world in the intersecting form. In other words, he approaches the problem of migration as a problem of subject conversion through the traverse. For him, migration is a not simple movement, but a relationship between heterogeneous and contradictory things through traverse. And this is simply a problem of transforming the subject that is not limited to the selective subject and the strategic subject. Following his first novel, Melody presented the film, I, the Other, which he wrote and directed. Melody's work still contains the unfamiliarity of migrants who are un unable to settle down and the despair of wandering, but the voice of it is more actively raised through the film. He saw that language could not fully explain the surrounding phenomena, expressing the pain of their lives in literature, and tried to overcome the power of writing through the method of reproduced language, in other words, image, designed figuratively and symbolically. The background of the film is in Tunisian extraterritorial waters of the coast of Sicily, with the two fishermen as the main characters. It directly and indirectly portrays the religious fundamentalism after 911, the media alarmism, and the current situation in Europe in such uh, responding to such. This film secured aesthetics through Melody's peculiar figurative and symbolic language and has political character at the same time. The space that appears in Melody's film is the space where the main character's psychology is projected. In fact, as Melody viewed the relationship between humans and surrounding world as mutually influential and inseparable. Therefore, the analysis of Melody's work must first start with recognizing that place and objects do not simply just exist, but are active components subjectively forming space as part of. In other words, it is paying attention to people in terms of objects forming the space and interaction between the space that influences them, which is essential for understanding his work. Therefore, this that is aimed to analyze the work, focusing on the meaning of the main characters movement by taking a step further from the historical nature of migration and refugee issues and applying the modern concept of space to images. To this end, I will use the concepts of place and non-place by anthropologist Mark Ujia.
The known place is a concept defined by Mark Uji in his book. Uji's such a conceptual theorem is a crucial channel for understanding Maliki's work. Let's look at it more specifically. Uji describes the known places in three main ways. Known place is a remarkable perspective of modern society and cultural research. If a place forms the individual's identity through various symbolic systems, dialogue, and interaction as media, the known place is a place that creates an, uh, creates an experience of solitude and similarity. Second, known place is an anthropological perspective on this place now and a paradox of modern public space. Known places introduce new spatial logic to our society, and people who use it communicate in an abstract and non mediated transaction process. Social network space, which has become a culture of everyday life, is a medium that shows the characteristics of known place where many people come and go, but no actual conversation or communication takes place. On the other hand, in the meeting defined by OJ, Places are characterized as self-identical, relational, and historical, whereas known places are governed by presentity, which exists only now with no past. The known place, which is merely a place to pass through, continues only at this moment as if space was captured by time. Lastly, the known places is political violence and polarization. Rapid urbanization, mass migration of the population due to political upheaval, and intensification of intellectual and economic inequality, which are prominent in emerging countries, are also aspects of rapid spread of known places. In other words, the concept of known places does not simply refer to facilities and buildings for movement, consumption, and communication flourishing in and around the larger cities, but also includes temporal dwellings of population driven by political violence and economic polarization outside the system. So if there are airports, airplanes, and multinational hotel chains on the one pole of the one place, there are refugee camps and villages to be demolished on the other side. The media space that replaces direct communication with others and direct experience of reality like television, internet, mobile media, is that true? It's a space that forms another pole of known place. Outside the EU, post-colonial subjects, migrants, especially asylum seekers and refugees were rarely welcomed. The boundaries of New Europe were expanded, but the borders were closed. In a bad sense, the recent Europe comes to be, to be defined as a place with foreigners, aliens, or unwanted others are blocked from entering the territory through legal and military inclusion and exclusion. For example, in Britain, after migrants arrived, the Black issue emerged as a cultural and political issue. According to Sarah Gibson, this shift from external differences to economic and cultural differences is similar to the aspect of Britain converting and integrating Adonis in order to transform the image of the country into a multicultural space. In the case of Malachi's work analyzed in this studies, the physical imprints of post-colonial subjects, migrants, refugees, and asylum seekers were perceived as others. This study is attempts to examine issues related to the migration culture of Italy and Europe and Mediterranean in a meaningful way through Melody's film. Let's look at how the space called extraterritorial sea in the film is used as a means of metonymy environment in issues affecting Europe and Mediterranean as a whole. It's not working. The film by Musimality moves the film's space to Southern Europe for a debate about migrants and refugees because the patterns of migration acceptance here differ both historically and geographically. Conceptual differences arise in the politics of hospitality. In the film, I gather almost all of the scenes were filmed from a boat floating in the waters outside the territory of Tunisia. Here, the boat represent the personal and political dynamics taking place around the media, migration, and terrorism issues. 
it is noteworthy that the setting of the boat floating in the sea is not only a means of transportation that is separated from national or social identification while falling under the known place described by OJ, but also is a real place where basic rules of legality, hospitality, and survival work differently. According to the Ian Chambers, the sea functions as a metaphor, and the waves, winds, current, tides, and storms of the sea remind us of movement, sailing, and dispersion. It provides a frame that is far more suitable for recognizing an unstable location of historical knowledge than in the cases of being suspicious and relying on the flexibility of a kingship, blood relation, or land. The film, I the Other, compares the world we live in to a book. Yusuf and Giuseppe are old friends. And they have had many experiences together in Sicily. They have worked together and united in the fate on the boat. The boat was purchased from a local mafia boat, and these fishermen are still tied to the mafia boats who control the prices in the fish market. Then they hear from the sea that a terrorist attack has occurred and the international police are looking for Yusef Ben Ali. Other than the name, it was only mentioned that Yusef is an Arab man aged 30 to 35 years old. However, the Hanami incident separates two old friends within hours and Yusef, full of suspicion, panics and tries to kill Yusef. In the end, the film ends with the radio broadcast stating that the terrorist suspect Yusef Ben Ali has been arrested. Yusef becomes very distressed by his horrible behavior, and what the director was trying to say through Yusef is to show that the, not the main characters, uh, main characters on deep rooted racism, but a moral panic that is so easily observed through the many media can trigger such behavior. The film also indirectly mentions an Italian post-colonial unconscious. One of the events that heightened the tensions between Yusef and Giuseppe was when they accidentally discovered the body of the African woman hung in a net carried by boat. They examined the woman's body closely, but there were no signs of decomposition. Yusef immediately declares a Somali woman. He says that is probably the body the human traffickers just threw into the sea while secretly moving to Italy. The two collide fiercely over how to deal with the body. Yusuf wants to avoid the further legal problems by throwing the body back into the sea in the face of the being accused of a terrorist suspect. And the Giuseppe, despite no knowledge of the woman's identity, attempts to take the body back into the mainland and return it to the family. The real condition of women's body led the two to raise their voices as if they were paranoid, and this situation leads to tragic end. This woman testifies the recurring tragedy of these who are desperately moving towards Europe, while also surfacing the repressive colonization of Italy in the past. The known places of the boot in the body of African women symbolize the multinational drama of modern Italy and the post-colonial unconscious sorry, that is out of place and conscious. Malati chose the boot floating in the extraterritorial waters as known place emphasized the importance of regional events in international politics. The meeting conflict between Giuseppe and uh, Yusuf symbolized the feel of others. As the media is still orientalizing representations of war on terrorism, friends are separated. After 9-11, the media justified the invasion of Iraq and established against the Afghanistan as per Edward Stein's Orientalist model uh, under the name of the missions of civilization created the innate anxiety of the other as the dark side of the ego and create the perfect othering machine with the aim of dispelling it. The film, this film, it shows that intolerance and division that occurred after 9-1-1 and 9-1-1 affects not only the country but also individual national relations and friends. Melody's film clearly shows how the situation after 9-1-1 reinforces this polarization while showing how you said change from being a Southern Italian to colonial migrant and Muslim at the same time in an extraordinarily dramatic way. 
accordingly, much of the otherness that exists in Italy is a matter that uh, needs to be re reconsidered and shows that they still face strong resistance when they try to enter Italy legally or symbolically as a member of Italy. In the film, I gather, the Mediterranean Sea functions as a known place and has various meanings. It also becomes a fluid barrier that takes the lives of the numerous illegal migrants attempting to enter the European coast beyond the limits of loose covering the land. The Mediterranean represents the new opportunities, but it is also represents countless dangers. As we read in the news every day, refugees are screened and thrown by President Mediterranean Sea. Putting liquid modernity devised by Sigma Development, in other words, this void known place represents an alternative that replaces offensive concentration camps and exploitative hotels, but does not guarantee a higher level of safety and hospitality. It becomes a known place for a spread of political violence and polarization that OJ defined earlier. To summarize, in Melody's film, the boot the boat is no place in that it that does not provide the place for identity, relationships, and history. People are confined, anonymity are stuck in time in the midst of new events occurring, and their personalities are deprived. No places were are established under the control of the whole society, and the whole society used these no places to repress and control otherness. According to Uje, people usually sell them evaded from waiting in these places, recalling the past, or shopping as they pass by. However, for migrants, refugees, and asylum seekers in the post-colonial era, these known places are more of space of recondition, capture, and exploitation than a space of movement, consumption, and resistance. The booth is the site where Yusef, Yusef survives with Yusef in that really show that there is no such thing as a poor area and that the owner and the guest are not completely separated for the rules of domination and submissions to be clearly applied. In other words, dealing with post-colonial migration, no places means the visual, the ideological instability of the European concept as well as the alternative space, the third space, and the known place where people reside and belong to urban alternative society. Here, the term alternative society refers to society established by post-colonial migrants capable of spreading new concepts of hospitality and tolerance that Europe seems to have abandoned. Applying post-colonial research to European migration film is helping to revise the concept of of the Europeans from a new perspective and to consider the positions of subjects that are often omitted or ignored in mainstream um, culture. The crisis in Europe, the rise of multinational post-colonial films and narratives, and reactions against them are in proportion. This leads to the problem of identity in the end. Melody's work raised the doubts about European identity in this context. In addition, it responds to the colonial unconscious of the country, in other words, the colonial heritage of several European countries, and the increasing xenophobia and racism in Europe. The topic that Malik's work brings up to us is the fine lines of waves that forms the great flow of a human coexistence. This, that is, comes to the conclusion that what Melody ultimately wants to say through the genre of image is a kind of a cultural dialectic. In the era of globalization, promising that many cultures enter in society, it's a common situation today. In a small frame, there is a cultural dialectic that is a method of colliding with each other, achieving harmony and compromising, adjusting to having one system in diversity. In a big frame, it is said that there is no method of making a decision as political institution and not putting too much of religious or cultural beliefs. Of course, it is clear that the recent reality is a retreat from the ideology of the human community, as you can see. But from a long perspective, as the country, individual, the units of individuals are just going back and forth between unity and division into money, it is important not to forget that these events of division are accommodated in one space. I think uh, that is problems of the era will always become a picture in every day, everyone's mind.
even with a change, it seems to be interwinked into one and organized into a competition and a map under the mind. Thank you for listening.